Hey, good morning from Walla Walla. It is 20 after 5. Day's almost half gone. Well, hey, anyway, I'm going to show you how I use the Monarch 10EE without a digital readout. So the first thing I'm doing here, I think you see me uh, uh, do this on the axle send is I use these Travadiles here. Trav a dial. And so they got a spring load to them. And so you need a little flashlight and you get in here. And there's a little window and a, and a spring. And you take and turn this until the spring goes to the bottom of the window or the top. And that's about right. I like quite a bit of spring pressure on it. Okay, that's the first part. Then I will take and make sure that it's square. I don't need the light now. Okay. Put the square on here, make sure it's square. Okay. That's good. So I got it, I got it sprung load. And the, and the next thing you do, I'm going to do all the clamps in here, is you run the carriage back and forth. And I've got the carriage uh, oiled up like this. So I run the carriage back and forth, and this uh, hardened steel wheel in here will micro at, at your track. That's what they say. So you do it several times. That's where you do it. Do it all the way. Oh, this thing works so smooth. Absolute smoothness. I'll do it one more time. And we're going to come back. Right about there. Now I'm gonna grab if I can see it quickly. Yeah, it's over here, I'll be right back. Right on back, I'm coming. Oh, is that over here? Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, dial indicator on the way. It's up that way. It's an old flex bar arm here we saw. Flexible legs. Now this is a good way to do it. I think. I get this in there. Okay, there's two pins here. And then, uh, get that pin to uh, close to a zero or something. There we go. So I'm on that one. And I'm going to bring it over to this one. Whoa! I didn't give myself enough room. A second. I'm going to get a better camera angle for this. All right, here at the Monarch 10 EE, setting up a Travadile for it. It's uh, kind of an old way to do things, but uh, I'm kind of an old guy. So, I, there's these two pins here, and there's two screws under, under here to adjust it uh, level this way. And I've checked it with the square here. It looks good. Set that over there. And let's move it back and forth, see we are here. These inner rapids uh, are different when uh, they work opposite. So 
when it's loading, it's going uh, counterclockwise, okay? This one's hot, so I'll get a wrench under there. I'm going to back this one up a little bit and see if we can't get to that. No, it's wrong way. Or maybe... No, it's going the wrong way that way. Loosen. And tighten. See if, it, see if it works. Ah, get across there, huh? Something like that. Let's get over here and see where we're at. Getting close. Uh, just about uh, half thousandths under that five. Let's see if we can snug it up and get it close. And straight out. Might be too much. That was a big jump. Not a perfect science, I think, is it? I think it might be a couple of thousand. Yeah, we're within a thousandths now, half thousandths. Let me get that tweaked in. That is very good. Oh, that's just, that's perfect. Okay, that's, that part's done. Now, now I'll show you uh, the setup that's um, that's with the machine here. Let's see if I can move over here. Right. See if you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Now these machines have this stop rod here. And it's graduated, this one's graduated in millimeters too, but it's graduated in inches here. And it's uh, threaded here for a tubular inside micrometer, Lufkin steric fits in there, and you can put the extensions on there if you want to. Now this, uh, uh, the factory has a carriage uh, indicator and it's got a cover and, and all that. But I made this setup because I can remove it real quick. I, <laughs> I kind of copied the factory stuff, but I adapted it for uh, my needs. And this just works perfectly. So you can bring the carriage up to this here. And uh, let's say set it to I'll give it a full turn here. Set it to zero. Then you can pull it back. Let's say you want two inches. So we can move it uh, two inches. Maybe that's three. But it doesn't matter. Go there. Then you flip it down like that and it locks. And then you can come back and. Uh, And that's exactly that distance that's on, on the rail here. So I can use this to um, set up the travadile where I used the gauge block to, uh, to do that before. I hope that makes some sense. So let's see, get that in there. Now, now this, we've got it level this way. 
I've got the spring pressure to push the wheel against there. It's left a track. You can see it in the uh, way here. So now, the, the wheel that contacts the way there is beveled. So if it's uh, reading over like in four or five inches, then you tilt it uh, to adjust it. We'll be back with that. Yeah, I close checking out for mice around this lathe here. I might have filled a few drops of rain. But I'm gonna oil this up here. I'm just um, gonna make sure that it's not rusting. It looks good. What you got? Where are you? There you are. She's got something going down there. Okay, we're going to oil, oil this up and I'll be back inside.